Hello everybody and welcome to Bangladesh. In today's video we will be making sag paneer. Feel free to pause the video here and have a read of the ingredients. First start off by chopping your paneer into bite sized chunks. Place the paneer chunks in a bowl and taking a teaspoon of your mixed spices, coat the paneer chunks evenly. Next, peel your potatoes. You want to chop your potatoes so that they are a similar size to the pieces of paneer you cut. Just as you did with your paneer, you want to take another teaspoon of your spice mix and evenly coat your potato chunks. You now want to peel your garlic and onions and slice your onions into thin strips. Follow this by thinly slicing your garlic cloves. Slice your green chilies in half. You now want to heat your pan 
and add around 3 tablespoons of oil once it's hot. Once the oil is hot, you want to add your chunks of paneer to the oil. You want to lightly fry these pieces of paneer until they are darkened in colour and slightly crispy to seal off the spices. Once they have become crispy and golden as shown in the video, you want to drain them from the oil and set them aside. To the same oil you now want to add your potatoes. Cook these potatoes as you did with your paneer, waiting for them to crispen and darken in colour. Once the potatoes have browned, Remove them from the oil and set them aside with the paneer. In a clean pan, add another three tablespoons of oil. Add your thinly sliced garlic to the oil. You want to lightly fry it until it is ever so slightly browned at the edges just to release the aroma. After a couple minutes of browning, you can now add your onions and your chilies. Add your salt to the onions and stir it through. You now want to cover this and allow the onions to soften. Occasionally stir the onions to ensure they don't burn or catch at the bottom. 
Once the onions are soft and translucent, you can now add your spices. Add your spice mix and curry powder to the onions and stir it to evenly distribute the spices. Cover this and allow the onions to further soften and the spices to cook out. After a couple minutes you can now add your potatoes. Mix these through the spiced onions. Now cover and allow the potatoes to cook and soften. Once cooked you can now add your paneer. After stirring the paneer through you can now add your spinach. Cover the spinach and allow it to wilt slightly. Once wilted you can now stir the spinach through the paneer and potatoes. The spinach produce a lot of water so ensure you cook this out allowing it to thicken and reduce. Once it has thickened you can now serve it with rice. If you enjoyed our video please give it a like and consider subscribing and comment down below if you give this recipe a try.